thanks to David Wood, this guy, he would be homeless by now. But David Wood, he made him something. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I was going to talk about two different topics today, but when I came online, I saw, you know, YouTube suggested me a video of Mimi Hijab piece, uh, 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 pink upon her. <laughs> so Mimi Hijab, he made a video and it's uh, posted in his channel. Uh, it's called, Is Hamza Yusuf a Muslim? Is Hamza Yusuf a Muslim? And then he said, I uh, he saw an interview of him in the TV and they asked him a question, if gay marriage or being a gay, sorry, is a sin. Is being a gay a sin? Sex is a sin. No, if I can just be clear about that, that's not... Okay. That's not uh... <laughs> and now he is talking against this guy because he is wrong he is out of Islam he said being a gay is not a sin hmm. I just I've been asked that question about 25 times and I've answered it the same way 25 times so I, I can't change what's in certain faiths I can't change what's in scripture uh, what I can tell you is the approach that I will take which is that I will not allow personal faith to be the basis of legislation now at the end of the interview she asked him point blank unequivocally una this guy he is not a gay but his mouth is over the mic <laughs> why you don't suck it <laughs> what do you what do what they ask you point blankly what ambiguously is it a sin and he said no this is kufr akbar this is something which takes somebody out of the religion of islam ah so now he is out of islam aha okay okay now according to islam can a man go and do striptease in the street and by the way you are not a gay supposedly right and you shave the hair in your chest. There is because this guy he always take you know off his clothes. He loves to show you know like he think he have muscles. I mean this guy he really he think he have something. <laughs> it's beef. But anyway, <laughs> if you look at his chest, he shave all the hair in his body. But he is not a gay. And he is angry. The guy he said it is not a sin. Pink boy, pink boy, pink boy, what you gonna do? <laughs> the first person to leave Islam that should be Muhammad because he himself was practicing this kind of behaviors. So this guy is right according to the Quran. Gay is okay. You know, if we ask any Muhammadan, where in the Quran it says that if you are a gay, you don't go to heaven. If there is any Muhammadan can show us where? <laughs> I want every single Muhammadan who is listening to me and to this potato who is sucking the microphone, but he is not a gay. Where we can find in the Quran that if you are a gay, you don't go to heaven and you are not a Muslim. Any Muhammadan can tell me? Isn't it the stupid Quran? Says, and I will quote by word by word, Allah forgive any sin, all sin, except shirk. Your God don't care if you are a gay or not. Your God himself is a gay. When they ask Allah, why you cannot have kids? He said, how Allah can have kids if he don't have a girlfriend? He don't. And in the whole Quran, not a single verse saying, what is the punishment for being a gay? There is only a story about Lut, which is a story from the Old Testament. But nowhere in the Quran is speaking about a punishment. Like, you know, 
if you in the Quran, if you do for fornication, but you know Islam is is religion of fornication. But they give uh, you know you have to you have to do fornication by rules, like you do muta or zawaj friend. Yes, CP is correct. There is no punishment for gay in Islam, but I think there is punishment for lesbian. But the fornication, what they consider fornication, there is a punishment for it, and there is no punishment for being a gay, except. Two places in the Quran. One speak about the lesbian, and one speak about the gay, and what the gay is. Heard them, heard them, and if we go to the interpretation for the verse, it says, "Beat them by sandals and insult them." Beat them by what? Beat them by sandals and insult them, and if they re repent, leave them alone. So. When, when this potato, he say that in Islam, <clears throat> uh, let us go to the verse. If you are a gay, you are not a Muslim. Every single Muslim he knew that this is absolutely false. Chapter 4, verse number 15. Same thing I was saying if you find a man sleep with another man. Just take out your slipper and hit him. But on the other hand, if you find a woman with another woman. Let us hear what the Quran itself had to say. This is talking about women sleeping together. Let us go and read the interpretation so we can laugh. The funny is that Muhammad he consider being a woman sleeping with women is very very harsh but a man is sleeping with the man is not a big deal read with me and laugh and this is the Quran and this is the interpretation let us go here verse after it As for those women of yours who commit loudness adultery, call for Muslim men uh, uh, of you to witness against them. <laughs> Hold on, what is my phone? Hello? <laughs> uh, 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 Assalamu alaikum. Christian Prince, I told you, don't call me it is Ramadan. Hey, we need for witnesses. There is two women having sex together. But we cannot punish them unless we have four witnesses. So can you join me and call two more Muslims so we can be four? Christian Prince, first of all, you cannot be a witness because you're Christian. Number two, if there are women and they are having sex together, you cannot prove that they are having sex. Zakanaik, why? Because Prophet Muhammad peace with him. He said in Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number 215, that you have to see the penis going inside the inkwell. And those two women didn't have penis. What? Yeah, you are right. Those women didn't have a penis. And the Prophet, he said, we have to see the penis going inside the thing, you know the thing, like the pen in the pink, in the inkwell. Exactly. And therefore, there is no way to prove that they are having sexual intercourse. Because simply, women are not have sexual intercourse. And simply, you are stupid. Zakanak, don't blame me. I mean, your Quran is saying being for witnesses. First of all, there is no way in the Quran it says being for witnesses for lesbian. It's in the verse in the front of me. Chapter 4, verse number 15. Read it. Get them, please. First of all, chapter 4, verse number 15 is that it in the Quran. I see in my Quran, we have chapter 4, verse number 14, and then we have chapter 4, verse number 16. There's no 15. What? What? There's no 15? What do you mean? You jump it? Exactly. Because originally, I'm from Korea. And in Korea, number 15 is haram. What? Number 15 is what? It's not haram. It's kind of like, like number 13. 
Like there is no floor number four. But what the heck have to do with this? There is no floor number four. We're talking about the Quran. What do you mean there is no floor number four? This is ridiculous beat the man with a slipper and jail the women. This sound like a gay right this part of the Quran. I am confused. Get a bread. If you go to Korea, you will not find a bread. You will not find any floor in number four. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, that's a superstition. Exactly. And the light of the then This is the way in the Quran. We skip anything have to do with number four. But it's exactly like right. focus with me. This is not four. This is a chapter four, verse number 15. Christian Prince, are you stupid or what? The holy chapter is a chapter four. So we skip it. Ah, the holy chapter is a chapter four. So we skip the chapter. Man, that's good. That's so good. Mm. <laughs> then, now this is about the women. And if we catch them, which is impossible, we jail them for their lifetime. Mm. What if a man have sex with the man? 